we have arrived at the Novell Hotel with the girlies. Oh god, the lighting. With the girlies. Okay. We have Katouche. You've already met Katouche. You've already met all the girls actually. But yeah. Looking forward to the event? Yeah, it should be good. I hope they have food inside though. Yeah, and I'm a bit hungry. I'm feeling a bit peckish. Literally, we had so much fun, and the restaurant we're in at the moment is just beautiful. Yeah, and just passionate. the experience. How do you feel, Katush? Everything so far, copacetic. Yeah? yeah? Sweetie? Yeah, what well, she said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. It's great to like support black owned businesses as well because, you know, we, we need the support. We need to support each other, and they need support. And it just feels good to like purchase from them. I'm gonna do a haul later, showing the things that I've got from them. We are in Mirror's Bar, just waiting for our food because we need a lunch break. But yeah, hopefully the rest of the day will go as smoothly as it's gone this morning. <laughs> next day yesterday was so much fun I had so much fun at the event and I'm so glad that there's events out there catered for black women and it was just great to be together supporting black businesses you know and there were so many things going on I absolutely loved the sleep therapy I think that's what it's called I'm not sure I'm probably wrong but Basically, there's different sounds that are going off while you're like meditating and I've never done an experience like that That was really really cool. Very therapeutic I should say but um, today I am off to watch the new Batman with Alan um, it's, Apparently I heard it's like nearly three hours Three hours. I don't know how I'm gonna do three hours because the last Spider-Man film I fell asleep I know, shameful, absolutely shameful, but we'll see how I do, because I'm not really good with films, especially long ones, so I'm doing it for him, and we're going to see how it goes. We just got back. What's up, guys? Been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Yes actually has but what did you think of the film babe i thought it was pretty good it was um it was a bit slow paced for me it was very like theatrical it felt like it yeah. was very dramatic um even the sound design and everything like that was just proper dramatic proper. and slow paced building up tension it's kind of that vibe and it was, it was hard to watch for like three hours old for me three hours but three hours like it went quick but obviously, like watching the dramatic side of like Batman and that dramatic, I was like, oh, it's a bit different. A bit different. Definitely. This is my first time watching Batman. I know this is shameful. I know. Very. But I enjoyed it. Robert Patterson is a lit actor. I think he's he did a phenomenal job. She was drooling all over him. Nah. <laughs> No, no, not really, but he did well. And then, what's what's the other actors called? Well, I don't know. 
What's the other actor called? The lady, uh, Batwoman. I don't know Batwoman. Please. <laughs> is that? A, I swear that's Batwoman. It's not Batwoman. It's Catwoman. Catwoman. Oh, is that why she had the cat? Uh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she hasn't even seen like the old Batman movies, and I think they're better to, to be honest. But obviously, it's like a different style. Mm. It's, I don't know if it's more for the comic side. That's what it kind of feels like. Yeah, I liked it. it. Had a lot of action. Had a lot of drama. I had a lot going on, and I it felt like the whole three hours was engaging. So. It didn't feel like it was dragging for me. And maybe because it was my first time watching it. That's why I <laughs> didn't mind it. But it was cool. She didn't mind it. She actually stayed up. I, she yes! I didn't, but he did. Surprisingly, he did. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, man. You fell asleep, babe. No, wow. No. When he was cussing me for, no for sleeping at, mm -hmm. at Spider-Man. I was tired. It was a long oh, ass day. I'm sorry, this is not better than Spider Man. Like, is Spider -Man it not? Man. I enjoyed Spider -Man. it. Spider Man, <sighs> mad tech. And you well, don't know, so unlucky. Well, if I watch it, it again, I'll watch it again. You can okay. watch it tomorrow. I'll watch it tomorrow. Alright, babes. But yeah, I would recommend. Would you recommend, watch, babe? Watch your, out of 10. Out of 10, I'll give it a 7. 7. I read her mind in it. <laughs> Uh, for me, I think that was more like a 6.5. Really? Okay. So you wouldn't recommend? Mm, you wouldn't like go out, You wouldn't tell people to go out of their way to watch it? I don't know. Yeah, but not really, no. I don't think I would. Okay. It's, it's got hyped up, like, massively. But I don't know, for my style, like, a vibe of Batman was more old school. Now they've, they've changed it a bit. Okay, well, you heard it from the man himself. Hey. But yeah. Critic things. It's Monday and it's only right that I'd be at the gym. First thing in the morning, it's about nine o'clock. Um, I thought, you know what? Cause I haven't been to the gym in a few days. Let me go at the start of the week and just, you know, new new week, new me. Do you know what I mean? So, and the thing is I'm going to Sierra Leone in like three weeks. So it's three weeks enough to get my body right. I don't know, but we can always try. <laughs> journey I should be doing my test soon so hopefully you guys will hear good news soon from me but um, it's so nerve-wracking like, honestly anyone that's like doing their like driving lessons and trying to get their license it's so stressful it really is like people don't talk about it enough like how daunting it is to go through this process like I'm actually so scared of my driving test when I shouldn't be I should be confident I should feel okay you know I just gotta speak positive affirmations to myself but anyway today I am going to a premiere um, the premiere is called The Drop uh, with BBC3 I'm going with Alan Alan, I'm gonna meet Alan there actually and we'll see how it goes but um, I was invited last week and they literally told me absolutely nothing about it I have no idea what I'm going to and then straight after I'm going to another event uh, it's to promote like a, a water, water? Okay. I'm not even sure I don't even know what's going on in my life or going on in my life these days like, I just attend do you know what I mean? I'm just there. But um, it should be fun. It should be good. Right now I'm in prep. Literally, I went in and bought a rice cake. 
for a rice cake just so I can sit down. Has anyone ever done that? Just so that they can chill. Because my driving lesson finished at 3.30 and the event is at 6. So what's the point of me going back home and then coming back out? It's just long. So um, yeah, I decided to buy a little something and now I'm sitting in prep. Here we are. We have arrived at the premiere. It's so noisy right now. But we are with the gang. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you enjoying oh, it? Oh, thanks. You leave me out. How did I leave you What's out? Good? You're there. Where? You're here. <laughs> You're here. What's up, guys? What are you guys saying? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. But, listen. Look at the scenery. I actually love the lights. Very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture over there with the lighting and the photographer. Okay, what are we doing? Are we are we going here or are we going there, guys? What do you want to win? I don't mind. Yeah, Alright, take the lead, Alan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the drop. Please to be dad, Luke, congratulations! <laughs> Production to BBC Three for making this show at home. Big up BBC Three. And of course, our wonderful, wonderful judges, Mr. Blondie McCoy. Hello. 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 Mark Jack Burton. Hello, MJ. Thank you so much um, for all the creativity that you put into the show. Um, I think you guys could be really, really proud of yourselves. Um, I hope you, I know you're all going to leave with an army of new fans who are going to appreciate all the hard work that you put into making your beautiful clothes. So the last few months, look, the drop is so dear to my heart, man. I, uh, being there to handpick the, the creatives, to work with our team on the challenges, it just really was a labor of love to hopefully create a show that was um, value added and fun and authentic and i really feel like we nailed it um so i just want i just want to thank everyone for the support that you guys are showing because i personally got to watch um each and every one of our creatives grow and learn across the series and it was such an honor and i'm so proud of each and every one of them Guys, they're phenomenal, okay, okay. amazing. Yeah, yeah. This is the crew. Oh, we love it. We love it. Amazing. I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys. Should I say it like that? Today I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys. It's from the black businesses that I got these products from. From the fair curly hair treats. Today I'm going to do a haul for you guys and it's from the products that I've got from black businesses. So the first one I'm going to start with is Ivy That and I got Sheer Butter Unrefined, so 100% unrefined Sheer Butter rehydrate skin and nourishing hair i love shea butter but i'm not a fan of the smell so if you like the way uh shea butter moisturizes your skin then use this definitely use this and then i got oil as well 
So you can use this on your skin, you can use this on your hair. And I got black soap. This is one thing I'm excited about, I'm not going to lie, because I've never used black soap, ever. So I've heard great things about like how uh, black soap can like clear your skin and things like that. Like my skin's already clear, thank God, like, but I think I want it to be more clear, you know, a little bit more clear. But yeah, so these are all from Ivy Nat. So yeah. Let me not forget that I also got natural deodorant from Ivy Nat as well. I got the Grapefruit and Mint Clean Deodorant Balm. So it looks like this. Let me do the... Yeah, so it looks like this. And then um, you put your hands in it and then put it under your armpits. Let's do the smell test. Mmm, it smells really fresh. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, I'm going to probably put some under there. Under my armpits. Ooh, smells delicious. Let me do that. I like this because they're not using chemicals and it's natural. It's really, really good. Next, next we have Big Nanny's hair products. And this is an oil for your hair. Oh God, what's my on my chin? And this is an oil for your hair. So um, when I was speaking to the lady that um, I purchased it purchased it from, um, it was basically her mum's recipe, and her hair was so long. I was jealous. I was actually jealous. Her hair was up to here, four C hair up to here. Like you rarely see that. And she says she doesn't wear wigs, and how she, all she does is put oil, this oil that her mum made in her hair amazing so i'm definitely going to try it out let you know let you guys know how it goes because i cut my hair um two years ago like literally bold and then now it's like up to here so i'm kind of gassed i'm kind of gassed but i want it to grow a little bit more and it's called big nannies it's called big Big Nanny's hair products, FYI. Next we have Panthera's Leo. And this is hair products that I got. So this is going to be for my wigs to lay it flat and then put the, um, is it focusing? Come on, focus. Yeah, so I got this for my wigs so that I can like, um, so that I can lay it flat and put an iron, um, not cut iron, um, put the comb on it. I'm using me words. Next, I have this hair and body oil. Um, it's got these coffee beans in there. So, um, oh, oh, by the way, everything that I've received is all vegan. So, um, all my vegans out here, I'm showing you vegan products that you can get. Um, and that's from a black business. So, 
yeah i can't wait to try these i'm gonna let you guys know how it goes also i recently got some crocs <laughs> some crocs and you can put these stuff in there let me show you Oh God, we it. So I got these. Come on, man. I got focus. I got these to put in my Crocs. How cute is that? I got come on I got these to put in my crocs in the little holes how cute are these come on man yeah I absolutely love it. I had to get it. I had to get it. Uh, where did I get this from? I forgot where I put it. From, where I got it from, but I'm sure I got the card. And if I find the card, I'm gonna put the name here. Oh my god guys how can i forget to show you i also got this it's called a facial gua sha i'm probably butchering the name right now like fully but this is going to change my face structure i've already used it but i'm going to demonstrate how to use it it basically like helps carve out your face like so so you use it like for two minutes a day and it will help carve out your face like your jawbone, your cheekbones, you know. I've seen it on TikTok, so, and I've seen the results that it gives people. I'm here for it. When I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. And by the way, this is from Ivy Nat as well. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as I did making it. So that's it for today and this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you comment, like and subscribe, please, because it helps a lot. And I appreciate you guys watching this vlog. Mwah.